Tonight, I want to begin by showing you some pictures. Look at this. What you'll see looks like a spaceship landed in the middle of a desert of ice. But if you look carefully, you'll notice a Russian flag flying on top of a building. This is a Russian military base in the Arctic. It can house up to 150 soldiers. It has radar facilities, even an airfield where any type of plane can land. And this is just one base. Russia has amassed unprecedented military might in the Arctic. It has stationed soldiers, built air bases and deployed advanced weapons. Now look at this. This is a nuclear-powered icebreaker. Russia is building four of these at a shipyard in St. Petersburg. These vessels will be deployed in the Arctic to assert Moscow's dominance over the region. But why the Arctic? When did the North Pole become a front? Why would Russian soldiers be stationed in the cold and barren Arctic? And why are the Russians so keen on controlling this? President Vladimir Putin has a grand plan. The ice in the Arctic is melting rapidly. For the rest of the world, this is a climate crisis. But for Putin, it's an opportunity. At least that's how the Kremlin sees it. Russia could become the biggest beneficiary of climate change here. Let me explain how. Once the ice in the Arctic melts, it will open up a new shipping route, like this one. It is being called the Northern Sea Route. You could say this will be Russia's very own Suez Canal. It will dramatically reduce travel time from Asia to Europe. Right now, a shipping trip from Asia to Europe takes around 25 to 30 days, if the Russian route opens. The same trip will take around 18 days, 1-8. And Moscow has plans to operate this route like a toll road. They want to charge you or any country for using it. And that's just the beginning. The potential of the Arctic goes way beyond, beyond shipping routes. The receding ice in the Arctic is a $35 trillion opportunity, $35 trillion. The region contains a wealth of petroleum and natural gas. According to American estimates, this region could have around 412 billion barrels of oil, the kind of supply that could last for generations. It has deposits of minerals like iron ore, zinc and lead and precious metals like gold, diamond, and gemstones. An entire treasure trove lays hidden underneath the ice of the Arctic. And where there's wealth, there are multiple claimants. The problem is the borders of the Arctic are not clearly defined. So Russia wants to redraw them or draw them. And Russia is using its military might to assert itself. Russia has tested all kinds of advanced weapons in the Arctic, ballistic missiles, nuclear torpedoes, even the new hypersonic missiles that can travel faster than sound. The Russians have the biggest fleet of ship breakers. And like we told you earlier, Moscow wants to add more ships to this fleet. They have even planted a titanium flag on the Arctic seabed just to stake claim on the natural resources. Spying operations have begun in the region, and wait till you hear this. The Russians have some special recruits to spy on their adversaries here. Like this one, the beluga whale. That's right, a whale. In 2019, Norwegian fishermen spotted this whale near their boats. A camera harness was strapped to the whale's chest. The harness had a label that said, Equipment of St. Petersburg. This finding alarmed Norwegian officials. Many believe that this whale could have been trained to spy for Russia. Of course, Moscow denied this claim, but it's leaving no opportunity to take control of the Arctic. In March this year, the Russians carried out a special drill. Three submarines emerged out of the Arctic bed. They managed to break one and a half meters of ice. Russia shot the entire drill through a drone and posted the video online. Take a look. Moscow is sending a clear message to its rivals here. It wants to control the Arctic as well as the waters around it. Today, Russian fighters chased away an American patrol plane. This happened in the Pacific Ocean in the Bering Sea. Moscow claims that the American planes were trying to violate Russian borders. Russian radars detected the American bomber. Russian fighter jets were scrambled to escort the American planes out. That's how serious Russia is about controlling the sea and the shipping lanes that could run the global economy in future.
By controlling them, Moscow wants to control global supply chains. As the ice melts, the Arctic is turning into the next geopolitical battleground and Russia already has an edge.